CRM is going to be the thing that you should live by. It's going to be your Bible. It's the Bible for every top producing agent I've ever met. And most new agents do not take the time to slow down and learn it. If I was a brand new agent starting today, these are the exact 10 things that I would do in order to break six figures in my first year. If you don't know my story, that's exactly what I personally did. When I got started in the real estate, I broke over six figures in my first year, went on to become a top producing agent for every year after that. And now I train thousands of new agents every year and help helped a ton of them break six figures in their first year. So I'm going to break down the 10 things that you should do right now. If you haven't yet broken six figures, whether you're studying for your license, just became a realtor, or maybe you had a terrible first year. If you follow this blueprint, you will break six figures in the next 12 months. What's up guys. My name is Mike Sherwood with the XP Realty. Again, I train thousands of agents every year how to scale the business, the modern way, leveraging things like social media. So let me start diving straight into it and help you break six figures using this proven process that I was able to use not only for myself, but so many other agents across almost every market center in North America. Number one, identify and create a personal brand. This is something that I did where I used to be recognized as the purple realtor. If you follow me on Instagram, which please do everything that I have is purple on my cars, things like that. But this was a persona that I created in the beginning. Now the caveat to this is you don't have to waste time making your brand perfect. A lot of agents waste way too much time trying to get this perfect seven figure agent brand brand before they've even done a deal. What you need to understand from somebody like myself that actually has a branding agency that helps agents build their brand is that your brand does not have to be perfect. Your brand is always going to evolve. I reinvent myself every single year and every year I'm evolving my brand and always improving it. So in the beginning, all that you need to do is think about what you want to be recognized for. Look at color psychology, pick a color that relates to you, your style of business, what you want to be known for and start to put the pieces together, have a clean professional look across all social platforms, your physical and digital and social marketing, but just get something that's good enough to get started. Don't waste a ton of time trying to get it perfect because it's never going to be perfect. You're going to grow, learn, evolve as a person and want to change it in 12 months from now, but you need to at least stand out and stand for something and have that unique value proposition so that people know what makes you different. In the beginning, just to give you some context, mine was leveraging social media marketing. Back in 2017, nobody was really leveraging drone footage, video marketing, and social media marketing to promote listings. Well, during a slow market like I was in, this was a huge value proposition that allowed me to build this brand for quality as well as stand out with my unique color of purple that I was able to have consistently branded across every aspect of what I do. Number two, choose one form of prospecting and practice your scripts every single day. Now I tried door knocking, I tried cold calling. Cold calling just wasn't it for me because ultimately I like building relationships with people and I found that it's way more difficult for somebody to slam a door in your face and to hang up a phone. There's no emotional connection. They can't really tell who you're like, what you are, what you stand for when they're just listening to you over the phone. Now don't get me wrong, cold calling works incredibly, especially during shifting markets where you can start to focus more on FISBOs and expires. But I personally liked door knocking. It gave me an opportunity to show up with a smile, bring some energy, bring value and connect with people much quicker than I could have with cold calling. So for the first six months, I door knocked every single day for three hours a day. And that built my momentum to the point where I didn't have to prospect another day in my life after those first six months. Again, condense the time frame in which you need to do these activities. If you do it every day, which takes discipline, consistency, and mental fortitude and grit, you're going to build massive momentum as a new agent, but so many people do it when they feel like it, or they don't do it consistently enough, which is wondering why they're not getting the results. But 80% of my business in my first year came from door knocking and 50% of my listings in my second year came from the follow up I did on the door knocks in my first year. Now, the third thing that I would do is choose one form of evergreen content and start to post twice weekly. So the two main forms of evergreen content is going to be blogging or video on YouTube. I much prefer video on YouTube as you evidently see because of the fact that it, again, it gets people to like new and trust you much quicker than just reading a blog. And ultimately it takes a lot less time once you start to build momentum and start to find different nuances of how you can streamline it for your own business. But leveraging evergreen content is a really incredible way that 
that's how the majority of agents in my organization at eXp are breaking six figures in their first year is they're following my video blueprint and if you want that drop a comment below and i'll send you my free one hour training that breaks down exactly how to rank number one in your market and attract clients every single month that turn into closed deals but evergreen is really important because door knocking cold calling traditional prospecting is great but it's linear the more time you put in the more effort you get out but simultaneously if you don't put much time and you get no effort out as well or no tangible results also your business is only growing when you're putting time into that activity so that's when my business plateaued i was only door knocking three hours a day my business was only growing three hours a day but when you start to look at evergreen content like video if you properly optimize it like my free training shows this allows your video to continue to build momentum every single day it essentially is like door knocking or cold calling 24 7 365 whether you're working or not so by starting to build this library of evergreen content not only is it going to demonstrate your market knowledge and your knowledge of what it's like to live in your market center but it's a really great way to start to create leverage year over year because what happens is once you start to look at content it is exponential in nature versus linear like prospecting well when you start to hit that inflection point where your evergreen content takes off you'll never have to prospect another day in your life. But you have to get started now in order to build up your skill sets of delivering a message on video. This is gonna be a great way for you to separate yourself from other agents and really build momentum within the latter half of your first year. Number four, I would choose a form or avenue of branded content and I would start to post two to three times a week as well. Now, this is gonna be content that is more for building your personal brand and more in the moment type content that's gonna get people to know you on a deeper level and a more personal level. Things like Instagram, TikTok, these are the types of content that get people to know the real you. Because on video, you can edit it a little bit more, it's a little bit more professional, but on these other platforms where it's more immediate, it's not evergreen, it's more in the moment, this allows people to get to know you, your family, your passions, your hobbies, and it's a really great way for people to connect with you, which is gonna build that deeper like, know, and trust factor so that people want to work with you as well. Number five, pick a CRM, any CRM. Ideally, if you're at a brokerage like mine with eXp Realty, you get KV Core for free. Hopefully, if you're at some other brokerage, you also get a CRM for free. If you're not, then we should probably talk. But CRM is going to be the thing that you should live by. It's going to be your Bible. It's the Bible for every top producing agent I've ever met. And most new agents do not take the time to slow down and learn it, which is why they fall victim to always chasing the next deal and hitting plateaus much quicker. Because if you properly nurture a client, every one client should turn into seven more repeat and referral clients over the lifespan of your career as a real estate agent. That's how top producers build scalable business. They're not focusing on one by one by one it's seven by seven by seven that compounds year over year so if i can advise anything to you it is to do this one thing which is to choose a crm and spend one hour a day learning it first and then nurturing it as time goes on so take a week or so in order to learn how to use the different functionalities like market reports drip campaigns follow-ups notifications things like that in your crm and then after you learn it become proficient with it start to just spend one hour a day following up with people nurturing them being able to send little notes contact them and just see what's going on but that's the number one one thing that I see new agents struggling with because they don't have a database, they have no organization, they have no idea where the next deal is coming from because they don't follow the number one principle, which is to live by your CRM. Number six is going to be do open houses every single week twice a week. This is going to be a really great way for you to start to build your database by getting in touch with new people. And it's also going to develop your skill set in terms of understanding properties and start to develop your communication skills and conversion skills when it comes to conversing with people that walk through the door that are kind of these random leads that you need to now convert into clients or potential leads. So making it a staple in your first year of doing an open house at least every Saturday and every Sunday is going to be imperative to your success. Now, I've got a video on how to crush it with the open houses. And if you want that, drop a comment below to say open house and we'll make sure to send it to you. But we break down the blueprint of how to get clients every single week from the open houses and a ninja strategy that helps convert those leads into clients so much quicker than the average agent. But this is going to be a great way to also create leverage of your business because you can post on social media about it. You can not only post that you're doing an open house, but also before the open house starts, go there, clean up, turn the lights on and do a property tour. Now you've got short form content for your branded content for two posts a week out of the three that you should be doing. It's a really great way to create great content. It's an excellent way to get your name out there and oftentimes 
times if you do it properly, it's gonna lead to clients and closed deals. Number seven, something that not many people do that actually helped me a ton. And honestly, it made the biggest difference when it came to me never having to deal with the objection of how long have you been in the business or are you young, what your age is, whatever the situation is, because I was 24 when I got into real estate. But ultimately it comes down to studying the market data for 30 to 60 minutes every single day. The one way that you're gonna be able to get outside of the objection of how long have you been in the business or what's your experience is if you come across as extraordinarily knowledgeable. And that comes from studying the market data. It also is going to allow you to choose which area you're gonna prospect. It's going to make sure that whenever people ask you how the market's doing, you're not just gonna say what the average agent does, which is, oh, it's good, it's fine, it's great, it's whatever. That's generic BS responses that are never gonna get you a client. If you can say, well, where do you live? Where are you interested in? Oh, based on that, here's what's happening. Here's the months of inventory. Here's the data. Here's the days on market. Here's the average list of sales price. Here's what's going on in that area. Oh, you're curious about a different area? I know that too. And when you can start to demonstrate your knowledge and be able to control the narrative of all these fear tactics that are happening in the headlines of the news, that's going to make sure that people are seeing you as a value-driven resource and they're going to want to have deeper discussions with you and ultimately work with you. Number eight, attend local networking events every single week and join every group humanly possible related to your passions. So in the beginning, what I did is I'm a big mountain biker and I'm also uh, big into cars. So what I started doing is joining the mountain bike community so that I could go out for rides with other people. And eventually what comes up is what do you do? But it's a great way to build relationships every single week with people that share similar passions and hobbies. Also, being a car guy, I started going to the local car meetups every single week and building their relationships because I could talk to people very authentically and genuinely with similar passions. So one of my biggest recommendations is to tap into the niches of people that are going to relate to you far beyond just working with an agent. If they feel like they're working with a friend that shares similar passions, it's gonna make the journey a lot more enjoyable, but also it's gonna to lead to more repeat and referral business. This is how we see a lot of agents build the momentum in the beginning because they're able to tap into communities where they automatically feel like they like no one trusts you. And now when the conversation comes up, you're gonna be the top of mind agent. It's a really great way as a new agent to break into these new circles and do things that you love, but simultaneously meet a ton of new people that you're gonna be able to use to start to build Build that database in your CRM that you can start to nurture every single week. Number nine is going to be making sure that you join the right brokerage that's going to give you the right support, training, and mentorship in order to thrive. So again, I've seen so many agents that have joined me at eXp with a record-breaking group, and they joined a different brokerage, they went to wherever, and they got no training, no support, no culture, no collaboration, and they fell short. A lot of them did zero deals, and they joined us to do their first deal in one month where they start closing multiple deals every single month after their first quarter with us and now they build momentum they're able to get better training better tools better resources they get their crm for free which is their website and their crm they're able to get 50 hours of training a week for free daily mastermind goals and all these things that are going to save a ton of money but give you the tactical practical strategies that are going to help you build momentum that have been proven across all these other agents so it's so important that you join a brokerage and a group at a brokerage especially one like ours, that's going to make sure that we can pour into and give you the blueprint and not just the high level theory like we're talking about here, but the actual things to do on a daily basis, exactly what to say, what to study, what to do, what videos, all of that so that you can build momentum. It's really important to align with people that have done it before and not just themselves, but have helped many others do it so that you're able to follow a proven process. So as long as you consistently follow it, you're going to get the results you're looking for as well. But so many agents join without thinking like I did just some random brokerage in the market center and they're not getting the tools and support they need to thrive and that's going to be really detrimental to your business so if I could go back and do it all over again this is the brokerage eXp Realty that I would be at and I would make sure to partner with a group like ours that's going to over deliver on value give me everything that I need to thrive for free and support me whenever I've got any questions lastly number 10 focus on a well-rounded schedule well-rounded is the key word here which is you need to have 
have time for prospecting. You need to have time for creating content. You need to have time for going to the gym and making sure that you're physically fit. It's great to make all this money, but if you're not healthy and you can't enjoy it, it's pretty much useless. And I see a lot of people that are way out of shape. They can't enjoy their lifestyle. They're only working, but not focusing on their physical and mental health. And then they burn out or they're exhausted or they're fatigued or whatever the situation is. So it's really important to have a well-rounded schedule where you're focusing on the different aspects of wealth, your mental health and wealth, which is reading books, consuming good information, educating yourself, your physical health and wealth, going to the gym, eating healthy. When you're driving on the road, don't go to McDonald's, don't go to some fast food spot, pick up something healthy to give you the energy through the day. When you're looking at your financial health or wealth, making sure you're prospecting, making sure you're creating content, making sure you're following up with your database. If you do those three things and study the market data for a minute, this is going to make sure that you've got a schedule where you've got everything you need to do to generate leads and now all you have to do is service them which is the easiest part and then continue to nurture them leveraging your database but it's really important to focus on that well-rounded schedule because all too many people have only business in their schedule and then they physically and mentally burn out and then you're going to start to run into a business that's built on a house of cards and it's going to come crumbling down so these are the 10 things that i would do in order to build six figures in my first year because i've done it and i've helped so many other people do it and hopefully if you decide to partner with us I I can help you do it as well. So if you have any other questions, drop a comment below. We'll respond to 100% of them. And I can't wait to see you build six figures in your first year.